messes you up because you're like not used to seeing your favorite like boy band members like act so damn serious, you know, and be superheroes. So it's a real, it's a, it's a lot of fun. So, okay, we'll ask, answer some more questions. Jill, uh, can you back there? Thank you. And, oh, go ahead. Um, Marty Scorsese is my favorite director. I'll actually, is he Italian? Excuse me? Is he Italian? Yes, I am. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, <laughs> You're Italian. I, yeah, you know that, I but it. I don't like him just because he's an Italian director. No, I, I like him because he's an Italian. Like him. He, yeah, he's a great director. <laughs> he's a great director. Yeah, he's a great director. And I like when he chooses the photography in the movie. It's amazing. Like the reverence, maybe, did you see? Evil, evil yes, yes, I, have. I, have. I like, you know, when, when you know, they choose the location outside, it's better than inside. Yes. And I would like to ask you first, did you like him? Yes. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And second, um, when you choose the location, well, what is your mind? What what do you like to, to choose? To What do you prefer? Well, so when the great thing about it is that I'm able to, um, I'm kind of like with this whole project, I had to wear a lot of hats. You know, which um, I wasn't directing, but I was co-directing and allowing, you know, and, and assembling the pieces of the people that I wanted, you know. So that's why I put my friend Andy Rowe there. Um, and then also, it, it's the behind the scenes things that happen in creating a movie that excites me. Um, you know, from the scouting of locations, which is what you're speaking about. So you go to, so, you know, I have someone that went out and, and went to Montana and and actually we had another place in like Alaska that we were thinking about going to and it's a lot of things to factor in. But, um, you know, they, they sent a bunch of pictures in like an email and, and I looked through them all and, you know, from what I have in my mind, uh, from what I've written, and created, I have something specific that, that it has to match with, you know? And so when we chose Butte, Montana, it, re it really was all about the mines, you know, because that's something that's, you know, these elaborate sets that Hollywood pays for, sometimes you can get those for a lot cheaper, you know, in um, certain places in, in the world, you know, and that's why they go to those locations to do it. So Butte, Montana was one of those places. And they also, there's a thing called grants. So um, that allows you to, if you go to those cities, they'll, they'll give you money so that you can film in the, their cities. And I think it brings you know, attention from the artistic side to those cities. So Butte was just the perfect uh, choice as far as location and the mines and the old history of the town. So it, and I think it really brings it to life and, and, and creates something special. Yes. Wait, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, uh, maybe ask, okay, so ask someone over this side, whoever you want, and then, Jill, you can head to the other side. We'll, we'll catch you in a second, I promise. I want to also just say, while she's uh, trying to find the person, that I know you're upset about not, that I can't get to everyone with the selfies. Okay, I'm trying my hardest, okay? And that's why I created like the little elevator, like the, it's Nick's elevator of love, so if you have to get in the elevator with me. <laughs> Try to be creative. So tonight I'm gonna spend some extra time. But just be cool, you know. I swear I'll try to be cool. Make a line like AJ. Yeah. yeah. I'm down with making a line, but but I wanna like get, I wanna move around. I no. Move around. No. I'll take some time. I promise. We'll be somewhere. All right, Jill, where you at? Up here. Up here. Okay. Question. Hi, my name is Farah from Holland. Um, I wanted to know what's the thing that makes horror so interesting for you? Because when I was a kid, I was like the only one sitting downstairs watching scary movies. Because I, it's so thrilling. And what's it for you? I don't know. There's probably something psychological behind it. Um, <laughs> dark side inside of me, um, uh, but, you know, I think 
For me, horror is that extreme of something that really, you know, number one, it, it makes you scared, you know, it, you're afraid of it, um, but it, it, it's something that is true fantasy in the sense that like, it doesn't happen. You know, if it, you, you create, you're creating something that is, that is scary at the same time, and then at the same time, I, for me, I guess, the taste of the question, it just draws my attention. It just really, I just love it. I just love the dark stuff, you know? Um, and I love everything. I'm actually trying, I, it's so funny, I, I try to watch comedy, and some of the comedy I like, but majority I don't, and it's really weird, so. Um, and then I was talking about yesterday, I was talking about trying to do another movie, and write another movie, I don't know if you guys, heard it at all, the concept, but um, I wanted to do like a, a movie based around Backstreet Boys and use us. Do you want to hear the story? Yeah! Oh, you haven't heard it? No! Oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, okay, so th this, this is really funny because I was like, okay, I think there is a part of me that's probably, they say this, they say people uh, like really good comedic actors have a serious dark side to them and that's what makes them really funny. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe there's a possibility I could be funny. I don't know. Let's try it out. But I'd like it. I'd like it to be dark comedy. So, and that's when I came up with this idea, where so say it's a group like the Backstreet Boys, all right? And hopefully, the, once I write it, they'll want to act in it, and we'll do it. And it was inspired by the crew, so you understand. So it's a fantasy of like maybe maybe some of you thought about this at one point in our careers. A fan kidnaps one of us. <laughs> That's the laugh, that's the laugh. <laughs> and so a fan kidnaps one of us, and, um, and so as this fan is torturing this person, I, I was thinking, like, let's just choose Howie for now. <laughs> so, and as Howie's getting tortured by this person for whatever the person's purpose is, whatever they want, really want from him, we are... He's saying to this fan that uh, my guys love me, they will never let me down, they're gonna save me, they can do everything they can. And so, actually somebody brought this up too, which was kind of funny. So the group actually, hi like the manager will hire it's like a guy that's kind of like Liam, Liam Neeson, Nielsen, Nielsen? And, and, Nielsen. And, um, and he's gonna be really serious and he's gonna go try to save Howie, right? <laughs> kind of like Taken, you know, the movie Taken. And then, and then in the meantime, we're all debating on whether or not, you know, we even care. We, I mean, we gotta keep doing our tour, you know what I mean? So he at the same time is saying, oh, they're gonna stay here, like, so who are we gonna replace him with? <laughs> is that wrong? That's wrong. I think I'm gonna be super dark and funny. Anyway, so then at the end, we finally save him and he comes back to the group. But, uh, it, it's just, like, things like that. It'd be funny. I, I honestly, I love making movies. And so what you're gonna see tonight is something that is, it's just so crazy and out of the box. And it's, it means so much to me that you guys are here in this theater and you wanna watch it. Um, you know, I wanna thank you again and hopefully you want more after you see this, whether it's a sequel of this movie or it's another movie of sorts. And, you know, I guess Nick, director, actor, uh, writer, if you like it, I'll keep giving it to you, so. Without further ado, like, let's watch the movie. This is 10-7, guys.